morning guys good morning good morning all right so I finished my workout on time today I made sure and I got up a little bit later than normal but I just made sure I started right at 6 30 because even though we're on vacation we got to get out of the door early today because I want to take my dad to this place for the people that I don't know who knows Tennessee well that's live with me but there's a place called Crawfish that has a cinnamon roll I'm not even exaggerating the size of my head like everything is extra sized I'll probably be able to like share a breakfast with my mom because I won't be able to eat it all. Um, but I'm staying on track with my time nutrition. I'm staying on track with what I have to eat. I will have one bite of the cinnamon roll because you cannot not try it. Um, and uh, and then we're gonna do the whole Gatlinburg area. My son and my daughter and I want to take him somewhere for his birthday that we know he would love. And then we're gonna do whatever else for the rest of the day. Um, so I have decided that I am taking a day off of work today because my boss is really cool and said that I can do that. Benefits of being your own boss. So um, any messages that come through, I will answer this afternoon when we get back to the cabin, but that's about the extent of my work for today. Good morning, Vicki. Good morning, Laura. Morning, Jacqueline. Hey, Terry. Good morning, Amy. Hi, Sandy. Um, so uh, today I had to push myself a little bit harder in my workouts because I only packed 12s and 15s, and there's a couple moves in this workout that was for today. It was total body core. So you pretty much worked everything, and every move you were working your core. And um, there were some moves that I normally do a 10, and I was forced to do a 12. <laughs> So I probably will sit in the hot tub again later today <laughs> to relax my muscles. Um, yay, Vicki, I'm so excited you got your bundle. Um, so uh, we'll message back and forth and we'll go through everything. So um, you okay over there, Mom? She thinks she's okay. What's going on over there? She's making coffee. For her and my dad, I don't drink coffee. Um, but I do drink my recovery yummy chocolateness that I get as my post-workout prize. I take it, it's my post-workout treat. So, okay, so I wanna talk to you guys. I did read, I'm on day seven in the um, Find Your Happiness, the 365 days. It's like the Find Your Happiness daily mantras or whatever. And today was about, I turned my reaction into compassion. And it talks about, good morning, Tara. And it talks about how, and I hear my dad up, so I'm gonna be really quick with this live so I can go jump around on his bed and tell him happy birthday. Because I'm never in the same house with him first thing in the morning on his birthday, so. Um, and it talks about like, instead of reacting with anger or resentment and things like that, to react to things with compassion. Um, so I wanted to share the daily mantra with you of what we should be saying to ourselves repeatedly throughout the day to, um, to help ourselves have that compassion. Um, and it says that the, the one way, I hear the birthday boy. Happy birthday, daddy. Thank you. Um, so it says that the one way to help yourself have more compassion in the situation is to, who called and woke you up? Uh, Jason. Uh oh. Um, and the way to have more compassion in a situation is to think about how can I see the situation with more love? And when you ask yourself how you can see the situation with more love, it's gonna help you have more compassion in that situation. Um, so, Amy is saying happy birthday to you. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> I don't know if you heard him, he said thank you. Um, so here's the daily mantra for today to kind of keep playing in your head throughout the day to help have more compassion in every sin single situation that you come across today instead of facing it with anger. Um, it says, I choose to see all situations with more compassion. I am responsible for my outcome. And if there is a situation I do not like, I can lessen the frustration by seeing the situation from a new perspective. Meaning, how can I see this in love? Uh, Tara is saying happy birthday too. She said, happy thank birthday, you. Papa T. Thank you, thank you. Um, I let love lead the way as I choose to perceive everything with more kindness. As I send love and light to difficult situations, I can work through them much faster. I no longer react in frustrating circumstances. Instead, I choose to be compassionate with myself and others. Um, and then at the end of each one of these days that I read, my nose is so itchy, there's gotta be something blooming. Um, in, at the end of each day that I read, it actually will give a question. Um, and it says, in what ways has my anger prevented me from seeing a bigger picture? 
Um, hey, Sylvia. Um, so, hi, Aunt Pam. Um, Aunt Pam's on here. Um, so, that's, I've always, it, I was really bad in the past. Like, everything was faced with anger. Um, and I found that a lot of times when I faced that with anger, Sandy sang happy birthday too. Thank you. She said, happy birthday, Joe. Um, so a lot of times I found that when you face a situation in an angry manner, hey, Deborah, when you face that situation in an angry manner, what ends up happening is you're closing off your mindset so you're not seeing what's really going on. Like when my divorce started, I was so angry all the time with everything that I was dealing with and everything my kids had to deal with. I didn't see the bigger picture of where that was gonna lead me to this happy place now. Um, I didn't see that bigger picture that this was the universe allowing me to let go and become me because I wasn't me for 13 years. So, but because I faced that with anger, it really cut off me seeing that bigger picture that things were gonna be a lot better um, and things like that. So I really like, when I read this one today, that was my first thought was going back to that time when no matter what happened, I was angry. My kids did something small and I was angry and yelling and just, it was always, it was a constant. I think I woke up mad and went to bed mad. Like I don't even know where any happy spots came in. Um, so it really does cut off you being able to see that bigger picture. It really does cut off you being able to live a life of love and compassion and happiness. Um, so, <laughs> can you see them back there? They're cleaning up their suits. <laughs> we went in the hot tub last night. Um, and we're gonna pack up in the morning and we're gonna do some more sightseeing in the morning and then we are heading to Georgia. And we're ending our trip in Georgia doing a Walking Dead tour, so we're excited. Um, so I do have a call to action today, something that maybe can help with some of that compassion. And that's that one sentence that we read that said, um, like, how can, I, how can I put more love into this situation? So for me, this is what I'm gonna do today to help me implement being more compassionate. I find that I do lose my patience a little bit, um, a little easy. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to keep repeating every time a situation comes that I might feel that blood boil or I might feel some frustration or I might feel some overwhelmingness come on, I'm gonna say that sentence of, how can I bring love to the situation? How can I react in love with the situation? And then also, if you think about it, like whoever you're talking to, if you're in, in a conversation or somebody's aggravating you or somebody is just really making you frustrated to where you wanna just like shake them and yell, I look at them like they're like a two-year-old kid. So I talk to them with kindness and love and compassion. And we have that for children because we know they're learning. We know that they're innocent. Um, so a kid can tell you, you look, why do you look so fat? Why is your belly like that? And you don't get pissed off at them because you know that they're pure and innocent. They're not doing it to hurt you. So I'm trying to focus more like when I'm talking to someone that might be frustrating me, whether it's someone older than me, whether it's my husband, whoever it may be, um, I'm going to remind myself, like, okay, how can I be, how can I be more loving? How can I bring love into this? Um, so maybe that'll help you try that out. If you have any other ways that you, can you hear a guy's favorite coffee? I love the smell of coffee brewing. I don't drink it, but I love the smell of coffee. That's why I'll drink the cafe latte superfood sometimes. Hey, Rhonda. Um, so if you guys have any other tips on how you bring compassion to situations, I would love for you to share below. Um, so maybe it's something that I can try because I do find that sometimes, you know, I get frustrated and angry before I become compassionate and love. Um, yeah, you hear the coffee. <laughs> um, it's like a great sound to hear and a great smell. And then you have the view of the mountains. Like right now, my parents are sitting on the back porch. My dad's in the rocking chair. My mom's in the swing and they're just talking. Like I'm so happy that I was able to bring them here. And this is me and Alex's place. You know, it's not like we're paying to rent it. Like I own this place and I'm just able to bring my parents here. I'm teared up for this. I'm able to bring my parents here where they can enjoy this and they can relax. Like I've never seen my dad relax so much on a trip. Um, so good morning, Janet. So um, good morning, Patty. So I love that. 
I'm able to to bring that to them, especially on my dad's birthday. Um, what is Joe doing with the ladder? You have him working on his birthday. No, that was up there from yesterday. Um, he was working on the TV stand. Um, him and Ryan put electric electrical box out there. No, we're not working today. <laughs> Believe it or not, he didn't clean up after working. That's how relaxed he is. He left the, the ladder there. Um, but no, today's a non-work day. I told him he's not allowed to do anything today, but you know him, like that's its happy place doing projects. So I have to get him out of the cabin for the whole day just so he won't do projects. Um, but yeah, we did some work. Uh, the kids and I still have to paint the fireplace, but I'm excited. I'm going to take pictures of all the things that we did while we were here and I'm going to post them on the like page for the cabin. So if you guys haven't gone to that like page, it's a view from heaven. Um, so go over there, like the page so you can see all the fun stuff that we've been doing while we're here, but it's been a great trip. Um, so I just want you guys, wait, dad. <laughs> um, yes, he is just like grandpa. There are so many things that he does, Aunt Pam, that I'm like, oh my gosh, you're just like grandpa. Um, and of course he always takes that as the biggest compliment, but he does, he does so many things like grandpa. Like I told him no working on his birthday. He's like, but I want to, it's fun. Like, look, he can't not work guys. Look, he's doing something. He's finding some sort of project to get into, something to fix. <laughs> he just loves, that's just, that's his happy place. Like me helping people with health and fitness is my happy place where people's like, why do you do that on vacation? That's him. His happy place is finding projects, finding things to do. He's just the cutest thing ever. Um, but I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful day. Find the love, find the compassion in every moment. I gotta go get the kids up so they can wish their papa a happy birthday and we can get showered and dressed and we can get out of here and go do some touristy things in Gatlinburg. And then we're taking him to Parrot Mountain. He doesn't know yet. So have a great day, guys. Bye.